Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Thank you for joining me and Milani. She will be getting dressed this morning again. Um, and I was gonna change one of my smaller babies this morning, but I was like, oh, I wanna take her out of that. I actually prefer her in sleepers so far, but I haven't fully got her wardrobe together to really know. And it's not gonna really be for sure her style of which way I want to dress her until she gets here, if that makes sense. Cause you really can't really get the real feel of her until she gets her hair. So anyway, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And also, um, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me and show your support. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment as I read all my comments because you are important yes lola yes and some of you guys may be a little reluctant about being a lola okay especially after my little thought process of the lolas but lolas are good good people you know i'm a lola you a lola we a lola all right lolas let's, let's get started with this little chunk of monk so um a couple people asked me what size shoes she wears and what size clothes she's wearing um uh, mostly I've been putting her on like, well, the last Cody that I did, I, I put him on more 12 months and 12 to 18 months. When I shop for her, I will be buying her mostly nine to 12 month clothes. Um, you know, just depends on how it's cut and what, what it actually is. This is actually, I don't even know what size dress this is, but it's, um, I've had it for a long time when I went to Atlanta. But it is, uh, I think it's pretty small, <laughs> but I, I made it work. <laughs> All right. So, um, so a couple of people asked me also about her torso. Um, so the kid does not come with the torso, but, um, you know, just like everything else we do in this hobby, we mix and match to make it our own and that was just something i wanted to do with with her being that like i said the the intentions on when i started painting this baby she was to be mine originally and then i said oh i'm gonna sell her because i was keeping other babies and of course when i keep other babies i gotta make up the difference of not selling them but anyway so i am going to get her diaper changed. I'm gonna put her in a bigger size diaper. This is a size three Huggies. And it actually didn't fit so bad. So this is how her bottom looked. This is why she's still so flexible. Um, so it's not that hard to do with the, you know, the torso. The only difference is, is that when you buy like kits and you mix match them, matching the vinyls up, you know, the painting up, is a you know just a little bit different than painting from all the same color vinyl because every kit vinyl is a little different some may be really close and some may be off totally so like this was really totally off from her limbs but i managed to get them to blend and um so i you know of course i painted them together and so I was happy with that, but as far as putting them together, it's pretty, not too bad. And it was my first time doing it, so I don't know if I did it right, but I weighted the body first, the cloth. You know, of course, I weighted all her limbs, and then I weighted her cloth body. And then I put her legs on, and then I actually slid the sleeve over this and pulled, you know, the body through, and then I put her arms on after I got the shell on and then of course her head was the last to put on. But um, the thing about the shell though versus a tummy plate is that you actually have to take her apart in order to remove that part. So I was kind of a little reluctant if I would like it. Oh, and see she has a old fat bum bum too. Now this body, I didn't weigh it like super, super because I wanted her to have flexibility and still be you know cuddly um, I think the best body for the Cody Bears is the one that Laura 
um, to Duras sales, which I think went with her other smaller. I can't think of the name of it right now, but I think that body fits them best. Um, I do have a body here, a custom signature body that I'll probably put on my next one, but I did have it kind of to be made very close to this body style. But I think this body that Laura recommends is the best one for it because I tried on several bodies on the prototype and I end up going right back to the one that Laura, um, the one that Laura, uh, recommended so that was that um so yeah so so that's her on her body so the size four does fit pretty good it's about the same as the size three a little bit actually just taller sometimes i like my baby's belly button to show <laughs> i don't know why but that's my thing so um the little differences of of course the skin tone i painted different from the prototype and i did give her peggies i didn't give the prototype peggies because i wanted that one to be really baby and closer to the actual real cody and um i was very 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 happy and excited when um the real cody bear um grandmother reached out to me and complimented me on the cody bear and how close it looked to her grandson so that was pretty cool um so i really 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 was um proud of that achievement in my time but this one was more to be <laughs> like my grandma my grandbaby um because she is like i told y'all in the last video she is such a happy baby such a happy good baby too i don't know if she gonna be able to get her arms through this though oh child these arms look small i'm gonna be so mad <sighs> i think this is a nine month but the arms is so the the way that the, the the sleeves in this literally to me looks like newborn <laughs> but she got her little chunky arms in there look on there girl don't rule us fat girls out <laughs> we be working yeah okay poo poo and I barely, lightly, lightly tipped her nail tips too because I'm one of those people, I don't like overly tipped nails, but I think the community tend to like them. Um, Sometimes I don't want my personal babies, I won't tip them at all because when I look at a lot of real babies, they barely even have the white tips on their hands or they um you don't really see them at all but they do have tips of course um it's just not that stark white like some babies oh girl Ooh, child y'all don't know i'm sweating trying to get this little dress on this little baba with your baba with your mama oh can, can y'all imagine when she get her little hair you need some socks though when she get her little hair, she gonna be real cute. Me, I, I have a thing. Okay, guys, I'm just say this. When growing up, I hated wearing dresses. And when my mom would buy me dresses, I would hide them under my bed. So I was a straight tomboy. And the way I dressed, actually, I dressed out of the men's department. All the way up until after I got married. <laughs> In fact, my first husband is the first is the person that said, "Okay, now you're going into the office. You might want to put on some girly stuff." And I was just like, <laughs> "Whatever." Um, but I, I, so when I see the babies in dresses, sometimes I feel like they look like Little House on the Prairie or something. But 
She don't look so bad. I just, I think she needs socks on. And I didn't bring her no socks over here, but I think she needs some like lacy socks. Oh, wait, here, I might find some over here. I think she needs some lacy socks or something because her little fat feet. And because it's still warm here, I don't want to put on no long socks. So I think now, okay, now I feel better about her. Give her some type of little socks or something. My word. All right, there you go, mama. Oh, you're so cute. All right, so now we got her all dressed. I didn't butt fasten the back of her. I guess I should fasten the back, <laughs> the back of her dress. Um, but yeah, the, the, the good part about, um, like I said, the torso, it, it really gives them definition to in their body and it also allows them to be able to wear a lot of different clothes oh so she's got weight to her her head is not weighted at all other than just polyfill right now because i know i'm gonna have to take it apart to be rooted so she she has weight to her but she's not like super super heavy so she is still fun to like pick up to hold and I would actually this is the way I would keep her weighted um, so I weighted her limbs about halfway up and then fill the rest up and then I weighted her arms I think pretty full almost um, and so yeah so she is a little squish you know I still oh that's your diaper rattling I'm like what is that girl so yeah so she is a, she's still a little squish you want your little thingy here all right so let me see what you guys can see but um yeah maybe that's more light and then there was light all right let's see so this is her and her little dress and her little shoes <laughs> i mean socks but yeah so that's it guys. Let me see what you look like with your little tummy out. Let me see, look at that little tummy guys. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that she looks like a full body baby. I will say though, and this is just me critiquing my work. I will say I did go a little bit <laughs> ham on the veins in her tummy. And I think I probably could have went a little bit more subtle. She doesn't have them like that deep in her back area but let me see so I really see her back is like not as I don't know if you guys can see that her back is not as veiny as the other part but um yeah and so this is you know this is how i grow you know this is how i grow poop poop <laughs> that's mama poop poop all right so yeah and sometime with that there we go all right so let's get her back and there you have it and i'm thinking so even though she's a brown skin color her in Memphis. I'm gonna bring Memphis over here really quick. Oh, y'all strapped in. Hang on, Mooka. Um, so like I said, nothing is really planned out with me when I start painting. Um, so I don't know which color they're gonna turn out to be, but here, I'll take his hat off. Hold this because I don't want you to stick him. So if you want to do a skin tone comparison, <gasps> um, Memphis is still my darkest baby right now. Wait, I don't know how to, but yeah. So if you can see, um, she is more of a pecan tan and he's more of a real chocolate baby. 
so oh your brebra you do love your brebra okay and look at this little sh <laughs> this little sock that come this shoe coming off down there let's see so you gotta get changed anyway but yeah so that's that's my two babies together look at them they look so cute together oh i love the rainbow collection yes 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 they are all just so sweet oh my goodness so anyway that is that i just thought i would give you guys a little bit of comparison there contrast to show her skin tone um versus the others um and let me see their lip color is different too yep so different different babies they're they're very different but anyway we'll see you guys later thanks for watching oh my god what am i doing here